friends, today let's solve the past list box expression problem. Let's see a statement. You are given a string expression representing a list like expression to return the integer value of. The syntax for this expression is given as follows. An expression is either an integer, a let expression, an add expression, a multiple expression, or a side variable. Expression always evaluate to a single integer. For the integer, it could be positive or negative. The following are, uh, are three rules for the expressions. One is the let expression. The let expression, the last part will be the ex expression part. And the, the things uh, between the let and the expression are the assignment. Like uh, we assign the uh, value 1 to the variable 1. Value two to the variable two, um, and uh, for the add and multiply, we know the first uh, token should be the operator, and uh, the following two part should be the operands. Uh, and this problem for the variable it starts with a lowercase letter, and for the number it will not have. A Invalue the number like uh, you will not have zero zero one. It will always be valid. So how do you think about this problem? Let's see some example. The first one should be simple. We just add the one and the two. Um, this part we know the multiple. The following two parts should be its uh, operands. So the three is one operands operand. And uh, the second part, it is also a list per expression. So we should uh, first get the value of this part. So this shows that we can use the DFS idea to solve this question. We, uh, we will go deeper to return the value. For the latter expression, we need to save the variable and its uh, according value. Like this part, we need to save x. Uh, represent 2 and for the multiply uh, x5 we need to get the value of the x which is 2 and uh, use 2 times 5 and finally return 10 uh, so as a list of expression can has another list of exp expression so we will use uh, as I said, we will use DFS, and we need to pass this uh, expression uh, level by level. Like at first, we need to pass this uh, expression to let x2 and uh, the part. And uh, for this ex expression, we will continue to pass it and pass uh, it into multiple x5. So we need uh, another function named passive to pass this um, string into the separate uh, units. OK, so that's uh, our uh, solution. Let's uh, write it down. First, uh, we will use a help function, and it uh, just returns the value. And we will pass the expression and uh, the map. And I say the map means the variable and it's a coding value. So in this case, we just call this function. We return the helper and the expression, the new hash map. Why do we need another function? Because in this case, we can pass more parameters. What is the base case? And it is a recursion function. Uh, if the current, we all know that the simplest Two case is it just a variable like the x or the number. So if the current expression is a number, we just in, uh, return the integer value of its current expression. And if it's a variable, we just uh, get the value from the map. So map gets the expression. If not the case, we need to calculate that. So we'll use a result. And we will as I said, we need to separate this uh, string into the units, like multiple, three, and uh, this expression. So we will use the list. And we call another function, pass. 
and we pass this expression to it. We all know the uh, first string in the list should be the operator. So if the list gets zero equals to the add, it should be the simplest situation. Result should just be the helper, and uh, the following two uh, string will be the operands. We get one, and then we pass the map plus a helper, and the list get the two, pass the map. Another situation will be the list get zero. The per operator should be the multiple. Basically the same. We call the help function. We pass the first element and the times the helper. Uh, and pass the list get uh, uh, two on the map. The third situation should be uh, a little bit hard because it's the let. And we can assign the same variable different values. And uh, for the case, when we need to add x, y, we know that x should be the 3. But uh, in this case, we multiply, multiply the x and this part. This x should be this 2. So which means at different levels, the same variable have different values. So we need a, a new another map. We cannot just uh, overwrite the same variable. So we need a new map. The new hash map, we pass the map to it. Then we need to update the var value of the variable or add a new variable. So I start from 1 and I less than the list size minus 1 because the last um, part should be the expression and the i plus equal to new map just put the list get the i and uh, what about its value should be uh, calculated again list i plus one and we pass the new map and the result should just be the helper and we calculate the last part will be the get uh, uh, list size minus one and we pass the new map uh, Finally, we just return this result. And then let's implement uh, the is number function. In our in this question, the things will be simple. We just need to uh, check if the first character is a, a number because it always be valid. So it just needed to be greater or equal than zero and C less or equal than nine. But it can be negative. So if the c equal to the negative side, it should also be valid. Another similar situation is if it is a variable. Uh, we know that if it starts from a lower case, it should be a variable. So we just check the first uh, character. If it's greater or equal than a, and uh, it uh, less or equal than z, it should be a variable. And then we need to write, uh, implement this. Um, pass function. We pass expression and we need the result list new array list. We need uh, to iterate this string but we notice that we pass this expression and this first character and the last character should be the parentheses. So we just uh, uh, remove them will be the expression uh, substring 1 and expression uh, dot length minus 1 and we use a start index uh, start from 0 and uh, the condition will be the start index is less than the expression dot length we will get uh, every end index for the unit uh, like uh, this 1 it should be a number uh, and for the variable should be just a, a, a continuous string or it should be a list of expression. We call another function named the next. We pass expression and the start index. We add them into the result list. Substring 
start index and the end index. And every time we update the start index, choose the end index plus one. Final, oh, finally, we just return this result. So let's implement the last function. We will be the next function. We pass the expression. And we pass the start index. We use index to first initiate to the start index. Um, we should notice that uh, it can be a Lisper expression again. So we will check if the expression expression chart at the index equal to the open parentheses. We use a count to count the uh, parentheses pairs. First, it will equal to one, and index should be plus plus. The while the index is valid, let's say expression dot length and the count is greater than zero, we need to do this uh, loop. If the expression chart at the index if equal to the open parentheses, we know that the count should be we know the count should be plus plus because we meet another pair. But if uh, the chart and index equal to the closed parentheses, we know that the count should be minus minus because we already finish one pair. Every time we should increment the index. If it's not the case, it is simple. It is a variable or a number. So we just make sure we don't meet a, a Y space index less than expression dot length. And the, the expression chart at the index not equal to the Y space. We just move the index forward. Finally, we just return this index. We may notice that the index should be this is, we return the index should be the uh, invalid. Okay, so what is wrong? Okay, we pass expression. So we just, oh, name this expression. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.